at a nighttime twilight parade and carry the bag to decorate their floats and kind of like what work does. They do a twilight parade or twinkle out of what they call the parade. And you go down Main Street and we stop right around the corner there. And as soon as we stop, they kind of pull the barricades back for people to just then have a stroll. And, and at the end, when we come to the Christmas parade, when Santa comes to Christmas parade, he goes up in terms of tree lights. Um, and then everybody's there, already there. You just kind of pull the barricades back and you have to struggle the rest of the night. I think we'd love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was one of our original thoughts, but there, there was a concern on cost. Um, and I have oh, no idea. Well, you didn't think there'd be much of the light in the gun. But I know, it's you know how bells are close when it does that. Together the right, the people put That's together yeah. the float. There, there'd be cost to the city also. We have to increase our security along the route because of the darkness. We have to add lighting along the viewing areas because there are a number of viewing areas that are very dark. So there'd be some safety issues there. Our own float costs that we pay for, the costs would go up. So there, we presented it last year. I don't remember the number. Jennifer might be able to find it somewhere. But there is a cost to us to do that. I don't remember it being a huge cost, though. It was fairly <clears throat> if I may, it wasn't a huge cost. It was a, co it was a pass on cost to those in the parade. The concern that, that I remember myself from last year was just um, police and fire, just the increased um, safety concern, and Chief Kerbo may be able to address it. Um, we could do it, but it just brought an increased risk. Well, the story yeah. is it could be done. Yes. It could be done. It's done in great fine. It's done in various ways. And two, if I remember, we were, we were going to try to coordinate the motorcycle run with it and have them lead the motorcycle, dress their bikes up. And they didn't want to do that. No, they will not do a nighttime. Right. Right. They didn't want to do it. And I understand, because they're safe. I don't like riding bikes at night. I think a nighttime parade would be good. I just think it would bring a big crowd down here that would keep them down here. That's a good idea. Good idea. It would bring you a big crowd that would keep you. And that's what your goal is. Yes. Yeah. Is bring the people down here to keep them for the evening. Yeah. And I mean, from 5.30 to 10 or whatever, 9, whatever. But I don't know what the cost would be. We can yes, certainly put that together and bring There's that back at a workshop later. But have we ever had a nighttime parade? I don't remember one in the last 20 years. We, we have not in Louisville, but they are done. Yeah, the work's been had one for about 40 years. I think mean, it's had a huge. I think Grandma's just crazy. Most, most of the whole world. Christmas parades back east were always done at night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It goes back east, it's not going to two in the afternoon. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Attraction of the nighttime of parade yeah, to try to stimulate other people to do floats with lightning and all that. You know, these have gone to the the people decorate their houses now at night yeah. with little gadgets and little batteries and stuff. I bet people would be pretty resourceful in figuring out how these little twinkle out. I mean, I've got them in my house and my wife's little tree and they're on battery operating. That's those little twinkle lights you just put on your tree. They look forward to your, we look forward to your float. Cities have made that them. change and found that the first year or two years there's a decrease in participation just because oh, really? people have to convert. Now it builds up and eventually can become very, very successful. It just takes time to get to well, I don't want to be curious. I just do it out there. It's something that we talked about in the past. When you said that, I remember. Uh, that we got together at one point. We really looked at that, and everybody was on board with the idea of it. So I guarantee it'll be a whole lot bigger than last year. <laughs> 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 I don't know, but you might want to. <laughs> we, we can have the, the numbers for that by Saturday. By the time you we'll talk on Saturday and wrap up, and we'll have those numbers. It, it was under. It was, I think, around twenty. We certainly don't need to do it. I mean, I don't. I should say, I mean, we don't have to do it. I was just trying to. Compress it all so that you don't uh, lose it. Get everybody here at one time. Better flow. You may have any other questions? Do I have anything else on this? Okay. Next slide. 